You know what? There's a war of words and it's continuing in Washington, D.C. tonight, but a little closer to home. One local congressman has taken his criticism of President Trump to a whole new level. Representative Hank Johnson spoke from a church pulpit comparing the president to Hitler. 11 Alive's Ryan Kruger joins us now with that story. And Ryan, this speech was given on New Year's Day. Yeah, just not long before the Lithonia Democrat hopped back on a plane to head back to Washington for the shutdown showdown. He was speaking at Freedom Baptist Church for the NAACP's Jubilee. And Johnson said President Trump is in the White House because of a vigorous resurgence of bigotry, hate, cruelty, and ignorance. Adolf Hitler rose to power to lead Germany in 1932 after democratic elections. He rode a wave of nationalism and anti-Semitism to power, replace anti-Semitism with all Latinos crossing our borders, our rapists, drug dealers, and murderers. Does that sound familiar? And the congressman went on to say President Trump is a threat to democracy. Obviously, the right is jumping all over Johnson's comments, calling them unacceptable and hateful. Meanwhile, over on the left, many are pointing out that Georgia Senator David Perdue invoked the Nazis just last fall. Remember when Perdue was caught on this cell phone video in a confrontation with activists? This was all during the Justice Brett Kavanaugh confirmation hearings. Perdue took to the Senate floor shortly thereafter to call out Democrats who he accused of encouraging these kinds of confrontations. This is America. But these are the tactics of the brown shirts in Germany in the 1930s, Mr. President. Here's the difference between the two. Purdue did apologize for the comparison. We did try to see if Hank, Hank Johnson is standing by those comments. We were told he was traveling today, but he does not appear like he's going to apologize. Surprisingly, the president has not yet responded to Congressman Johnson's critique, though I'm sure we will all be checking his Twitter feed in the morning. Absolutely. Okay, Ryan, thanks a lot for the update. You know,